How to avoid dealer markups in 2023. Buyer beware, so says KBB. Yeah. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. We've known for some time that the dealer markups were dead fakes. Sure. But what's mind-blowing about this headline is that this time it's actually Kelly Blue Book who is saying it. If you recall, we did say the dealer markup was dead back on December 6th. Right. That's pretty amazing that KBB is saying it now. With them being all snuggled up under the Cox Automotive <laughs> umbrella in recent years, Kelly has behaved more like an organization that's beholden to the dealers. Indeed. So it's a bit shocking to see the news coming from them. Wow. So they actually can advocate for a car buyer, right, Kevin? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> However, I would just say because they got this right doesn't mean they should be trusted on everything else. Nope, not at all. No. Nope. Even though the market is shifting right now, it's still true for most people that finding a new car at a reasonable price is tricky and striking a good deal is a challenge. You'll definitely have to work for it. And anyone who tells you different is lying to you. For the last two years, it's been a seller's market, but it is shifting slowly back into a buyer's market. Yep. It will continue getting easier with time, but time is exactly what it will take. The consumers have to treat this car market like the Hunger Games to drive dealers <laughs> off the nonsense most of them are part of. Hunger Games, huh? Yes. In other words, right now, even the fairest dealers, if such an elusive critter even exists, <laughs> don't have much incentive to negotiate. Be prepared, folks, and do your homework first, as we've shown you how. Make sure you download our free car buyer's guide and either get the new car or used car email template too, depending on what kind of car you're shopping for. They are right there on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Whatever you do, don't just go waltzing off to a dealership to see what kind of deal you can get. Nope, don't do that. Once you're in the lion's den, you're at their mercy, on their turf, and many of you won't have the gumption to get up and walk out no matter how ugly the deal gets. But some of you do, most of you don't. <laughs> Speaking of doing homework, as Liz just said, since the technique of getting an out-the-door price from a dealer for a used car is just as important as new cars, on Tuesday, in response to viewer requests, we uploaded a free used car email template to our website to add to the already great tools we have there for getting out-the-door pricing from dealers and doing your homework properly. A list of fake fees will soon be there for you to check out too, so make sure you check back often. Yeah. You must know your stuff and have dealers over the barrel and committed to a final price before you show up. You will, of course, run into some very belligerent dealer types like this viewer did. He writes, I'm in the market for a Kia Rio, been looking at dealerships asking for out-the-door prices, keep getting told by every Kia dealership to go to that if I want the out-the-door price, I have to let them run a credit check on me. No. That's total BS. And then later goes on to say, dealerships I've contacted over the phone and by email won't even say hello in response without telling me to just come to the dealer lot for prices, the typical response. Right. Whatever you do, folks, do not go to the dealership unless they respond in writing as you request on the email. Find a different dealer. A dealer like this is telling you loud and clear that they are among the bottom dwellers, the scum suckers off the bottom of the fish tank <laughs> Ew. of the dealers out there. Yes, like what the heck are they hiding from? With this in mind, you'll need to guard against any dealers treating the short supply of cars like it's their winning lottery ticket. Yeah. Many are still tacking thousands of dollars in dealer markups to the manufacturer's suggested retail price. If you didn't know, by law, window stickers on every new car available for sale must display the MSRP. But that doesn't mean some dealers won't take them off anyway, like our viewer Slavic Boer reports. I notice a lot of new vehicles don't have a window sticker on them. However, if you request it, you can get it or look at it and print it if needed. Otherwise, great point on the destination charge that should be part of MSRP total, not an extra fee. I'll be checking a few different manufacturer dealers soon of who is or isn't hiding this on their quote. Time for an FTC complaint against that dealer. That's right. <clears throat> Some dealers, while knowing full well that the shortage is essentially over, are continuing the game with a charade, hoping to fool unsuspecting buyers into thinking there are no cars in inventory. What's a charade, you ask? Parking cars behind their buildings or even on reserve lots off-site, so it looks like their no inventory claim is valid. Viewers are noticing it too, like Brian shared and reported on our Facebook page. It's happening here in San Antonio. They say they have no cars, but over by the airport, their reserve lots are full. Yeah, I got kicked off a Reddit thread for calling them out for it. Just for telling the truth, we need direct selling from manufacturers. Dealers need to get out of the business. They offer no value. 
The game playing knows no limits, that's for sure. With dealer lots looking empty in many areas of the country, the vehicles arriving on transport trucks will often be pre-sold or at least promised because a lot of people are ordering new vehicles. Yeah. It's definitely a difficult market for car shoppers. Let's take a moment and break down a dealer markup, Liz. We define dealer markup as profit and the selling price the dealership assigns that is above and beyond the car maker's MSRP. A dealer tax these totally arbitrary amounts onto the MSRP to increase their profit on what they say are high demand models. Totally arbitrary, folks. Sometimes such markups appear as a second window sticker separate from the MSRP. Dealer markups are not new. Historically, you would find them primarily for highly anticipated all new or redesigned models. Dealer market may show up under the following terms listed on the label on your sales invoice. Market adjustment, additional dealer markup, additional dealer profit, adjusted market value. These costs are the ones to look out for and if possible, avoid. Other markups you might encounter include the cost of dealer add-ons like delivery fees, ceramic coating, seat fabric production, VIN etching, and pin striping. You could often negotiate such traditional add-ons out of the final transaction price. Even that is tougher to do today. When dealers started doing markups, manufacturers started warning their dealers. Yeah. High demand during the pandemic spread across nearly all vehicle makes and models in the market. The temptation to price gouge for dealers was simply too great for them to resist. Yeah. But in 2022, the manufacturers took exception to this. And places like Ford, General Motors, Subaru, Hyundai, and others began cracking down on dealership pricing. Good I think them. it was a little bit too late, though. Ford's CEO, Jim Farley, who has been a very outspoken critic against his dealers, has warned dealers to cut the markups during company earnings calls. Also, Farley wants the company to move to a new business model of non-negotiated prices at 100% online. Hyundai sent warning letters to dealers and mentioned specific practices, including advertising one price online, then naming a different price when the customer starts negotiating. Affixing window stickers with markups included as itemized parts of a vehicle's price. And all of these practices result in the sale of vehicles above MSRP prices, in some cases way above MSRP yeah. prices. This was according to a letter from the Automotive News. That risks damaging our brand's long-term ability to capture new customers and retain loyal ones. What you the car buyer can do about high markups on cars? Option one, just wait. That's what we're advising people to do unless it's an emergency case. Not a want, but a definite need. Although new car inventories remain tight at the moment, the rapidly expanding inventory of cars means this bad market won't last forever. If you aren't desperate for a car, wait for a more favorable time, like June 2023, for example. Option two, contact several dealers. The more dealers you contact, the better your chances of scoring the best deal. We suggest at least four dealers. To simplify the process, use our free email template you can download right from our website to get out the door pricing quotes from dealers in your local area. You can choose which dealers and who you want to contact you with quotes, particularly when you're looking for new, don't be afraid to cross state lines. Option three, be prepared to compromise. The Rolling Stone said it best. You can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes. You get what you need. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we could do this all day. If you're going to buy while the market is still hot, favoring dealers, remain a little flexible. The odds are you won't get exactly the color you want with the engine you want or with the accessories you want for the price you want. Decide what is most important and be willing to compromise on the other things. That kind of sucks, but when you're in a tough market, you just got to do it. And option four, for sure, don't take dealer ads at face value. New car advertising typically comes with so many disclaimers and caveats, regardless of the market conditions. If a new car price seems too good to be true, it most definitely is. Yep. When you see a specific model advertised, contact the dealer and make sure it's even there before making the trip. When an ad claims they have several units of the same model on hand, don't count on that being true either. In this market, often those numbers include vehicles that have yet to arrive or are already spoken for or are sold. Option five, now may be the best time to consider ordering from the factory. Except for some electric brands like Tesla and Rivian, most car makers still require you to order a vehicle through a franchise dealership. However, you can specify precisely the color, model, and options you want when you order the car. You can usually skip the add-on nonsense. You will probably still be stuck paying MSRP for now but at least you'll have the exact vehicle you want. The issue with special ordering is that the car may take many months to arrive. Option number six, if leasing a vehicle, watch out for fees. Use our out the door pricing template to negotiate the price of a car you want to lease via email before visiting the dealership. Yes, you should negotiate the price like you're going to buy it. 
Many leases contain a vague list of fees and costs related to the upfront charges. Check out our car buyer's guide. Check your lease contract and know your rights. Question everything. Shop around for the best deal. And don't pay anything not listed in the contract. Mm -hmm. And don't get burned with a lease that only allows 7,500 miles unless you're a retired grandpa. <laughs> That's the latest, greatest way for dealers to jack up the cost of a lease. Limit your miles with huge penalties for miles over. It looks cheaper on the surface, folks, but it will definitely cost you in the end. It can also help to shop vehicle brands who now have the most inventory. They include Buick, Jeep, Infiniti, Dodge, Ram, Jaguar, Volvo, Lincoln, Chrysler, and Audi. And practice a bit more caution with these brands who have lower inventory. Toyota, Kia, Lexus, Land Rover, Honda, BMW, Subaru, Volkswagen, Acura, and Hyundai. If you're not overly picky on the vehicle you're after, especially during a tough market like this is, you're also more likely to get a better deal on vehicles that typically sit longer on a dealer's inventory. Longer on the lot definitely helps. Remember the spreadsheets we used to carry around? They actually had how long the cars were on the lot on the spreadsheet, so we all knew which ones were the old ones. Yes. Here are some new examples. Alfa Romeo Giulia sits 52 days in inventory on average. Chevy Bolt EUV, 52 days. Ford Escape, also 52 days. Volvo XC60, 52 days on average. Then you have Ram 1500, 57 days on average, sitting on a dealer's lot. Dodge Durango, 58 days. And finally, the super beefy Chevy Silverado 4500 <laughs> HD, 60 days. What a beast <laughs> that truck is. Oh my gosh. So there you have it. For right now, Altador pricing is your ticket to the best possible deal. If you appreciated today's show, could I ask you to do us a favor? If you're on Facebook, would you visit our page, leave us a comment and a review, and share what you've learned from us over the past several years, and then stop by our website too, thehomeworkguy.com. As we've mentioned, the free car buyer's guide is there, along with the out-the-door pricing email template on both new and used cars. And while you're visiting, if you're interested in giving the best possible care to your used car, check out the X-Caps and AMSOIL links. Our website is where you can find great information on these products. Both products are a good way to save on gas expenses and keep your used vehicles running in tip-top shape. 13 years on YouTube has been an unbelievable journey for us folks, and we do appreciate each and every one of you. If you'd like to show some gratitude for our many years of service by sending us a tip, the links appearing on the screen will be easy to find in the description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and of course, Venmo. To all of you who have tipped us over the years, please accept our gratitude. We really appreciate your thoughtful kindness. Like a waiter at a restaurant, we're in the service business and totally voluntary tips do provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. I also want to remind our viewers about our generous offer for free car buying assistance. It's not an automated line, folks, so you actually get us. You don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on an ineffective car club membership. Just text your name to 701-441-3399 and we'll get you on the list and we'll be on standby the next time you visit a car dealer we look forward to hearing from you as you car shop we will assist you with guidance on how to get an out the door price including all fees on your next car purchase and yes we'll give you some encouragement as you're about <laughs> to enter the dealership talk, yeah. and no problem contacting us months before you're looking to buy we can make you almost bulletproof in that time frame guys all right if you're new here at the homer guide channel don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell we love our subscribers and we welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on places like Facebook and Twitter or whatever platform you're hanging out on. <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Once again, still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.